Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let me show you how you can go ahead and fix your Samsung internet browser that keeps opening automatically. Now don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're updated whenever we upload a new video. Stick it to the very end so you don't miss a single detail. Now for the Samsung internet browser that keeps opening automatically, this means that there are a few things that is causing this issue. Here are a few things that you can go ahead and try out to be able to fix this issue. The first thing that we can do is just go ahead and disable your pop-ups. So let's go ahead and go into our Samsung internet browser app. And then we're going to go into our settings by clicking on the bottom right, right here. And then we're going to be going on privacy. Now you should be able to see one of the options is block pop-ups right here. So make sure that this is toggled on. And there you are. Now, another thing that you can go ahead and do is to just go ahead and clear your cookies. So all of the data that has been collected over time may cause an issue with your internet browser. So all we need to do is to once again access our settings right here and then clicking on the gear icon settings on, on the bottom left. And then we're going to go down until we can see personal browsing data right here. And then go to delete browsing data at the top. And you should be able to see one of them is cookies and site data. Now just go ahead and select this one right here. And then just go ahead and click delete the data and then click delete. This will go ahead and clear up your cookies. Now, another thing that we can do is that of course we can just go ahead and check if the actual app itself is up to date to do that. All we need to do is to go into our play store right here. And then just go ahead and search for Samsung Internet Browser. Now it will be usually the one at the very top. And then if it is currently up to date, then you should be able to see the word open. But if it is not up to date and there is a version that you can update up to, then it should say install rather than open. So go ahead and update this app itself to go ahead and fix this issue. Now, another thing that we can go ahead and try to do if that does not solve the issue is to apply some form of checks for any malware. To do that, all we need to do is to go into our Android main settings. And then we're going to go all the way down until we can go ahead and see battery and device care right here. And then go ahead and scroll down until you can go ahead and see device protection right here. So go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, you need to go ahead and continue to scan your phone. Just go ahead and click scan phone and this will go ahead and check for any malwares in terms of your apps itself. So it will go ahead and go through all of your apps, including the Samsung internet browser. And then if it has connected or if it has found any malware whatsoever, then all you need to do is to just go ahead and follow through the recommendations to complete this. Now, another thing that we can go ahead to do and do is to go ahead and clear the cache itself. So go ahead and look for the app once again, go ahead and hold and long press onto this until you can see something like this. Click on the eye icon on the top right, and then this will put us into our app info on the Samsung internet browser app. Now, if the app is still open, just go ahead and click for stop on the bottom right and then click OK. And then we're going to head down until we can see storage. And then we're going to be clicking on clear cache on the bottom right. And as you can see here, the cache now has changed into zero bytes. And one last thing, if you are not using the Samsung Internet browser as your main browser, but it still keeps opening automatically, then you can just go right on ahead and discontinue the app or stop using the app by going into the app itself, clicking on the settings on the bottom right, and then clicking on settings once again. Now we're going to go all the way down until we can see under privacy, discontinue use of Samsung internet. So just go ahead and click on this and then click discontinue use and then click discontinue. And then this will go ahead and erase all of the internet data that has been saved towards this browser 
and then you will need to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions before being able to use this once again and there you go i hope that you have found this tutorial as well see you guys next time